Beyond. So we're going to talk about it? Yes, why not? Yes. Everybody Spoilers, up. Shane, drop it. Even hasn't watched it. Shane, Who? you're on. Wait, I haven't watched it. Hold on, I'm going to put these down. Oh, you guys do little hand signals David when it's done. Care. David doesn't care. He's going to watch I it. I do care, I care. By the time... By yeah, the time I don't, don't know Entourage spoilers either. By the time he gets to even figure out who Oberon is, he won't even remember... Yes, he will. Uh, ...who that was. Anyways, Shane, drop it. Okay. Well, the only Let's reason hear. why I think... I knew, I knew that was going to happen just because the week before um, they made such a big deal about who the, like the mountain and who, who was they playing the mountain. They've been making a big deal that. about the mountain for like four seasons. The mountain has been recast like ten times, by the way. It's I know. Who's the guy that cut the head off the horse, by the way, if you didn't know? He's, I didn't he's, know that. They've been talking about him for forever. Everybody's like, oh, the hound's brother is way bigger and more scary, and everybody's like, okay. oh, but look at the but hound. He, we've seen him in the show, and he's been played by three actors. Oh, I didn't know that. He was literally the guy that cut off the head of a horse. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. When was that? That was a couple seasons ago. Who cut off a horse head? That was last season, right? Yeah. Anyways, that was the same guy. They recast him. So this new guy you saw, he, he hasn't been in the show since, since now. But wait, okay, but wait. Okay, but wait. Okay, I'll wait. Did, is that what happened in the books? Yes. So yes. Oberyn or whatever was only in the, in the books for that long, not very long at all? Well, it yeah. was, I think he was in it for one book, but it's still like, what, they're 900 pages or something. They're long. True. So, so it's not like, like we, we, we only spent, what, seven, hour, seven show hours, so probably a total of like, what, an hour and a half, two hours screen time? No, like 10 minutes. You see, have you seen those charts that show, show how much screen time I, people I, actually I, get? Like, I tell you what, though. He, probably, he, had a, he had a decent amount. I tell yeah. you what, that guy was a good actor. Yeah, I liked him. And that's why I don't, I, know, if, when it I don't happened, know if he's a good actor. I don't know if he's a good actor or he's just perfect for that role. Uh, yeah, I, li- I liked him. Lauren like got that. sad when he died. He, she was like, he was so dreamy. Oh, no! What I was confused about, do you remember the very first episode of this season? They recast... Uh, yeah, yeah, Dario. Fucked up face, blonde haired guy with normal face, short haired brown guy. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't know, I, I didn't know who that was. I, I, thought, I didn't think we knew him, and then someone at work told me that's who that was. Well, yeah, they they're I, trying to play it off like it wasn't the same. I was talking... Or they were talking about him, and I knew who they were talking about. And then there was this other guy, and I was like, "Who's this guy?" And then they were talking about it. Like it just took long for it to process. Yep, speaking of faces, where's the guy whose face changes? When is he coming? I know. Out? I want him. I know. Me too. Shifter. Speaking of, okay, okay. So, has anyone here read the books? I the read book? the first and a little bit of the second, and then I stopped. What I'm asking is, do you know what's going to happen in the comic? I movies? know nothing about what's going to happen. Me either. This Me is either. what I was telling Lauren. I did not expect him to die that episode. I mean, and the so, second he stabbed him, I knew, but before then, I did not. It was like, normally, uh, all right, so this is relating back to something really quick. I'm in the middle of Breaking Bad, and I can mm. see what's going to happen just based on the way they're telling a story. Like, you can understand certain things are going to happy happen because of the way they're telling a story. Like you say that, but Breaking Bad's crazy. It is, but like they were doing these things to Hank for like all of the third season, and I was just like, I know what's going to happen to him. They're just, like, there's no way he just like is fine after this sort of thing. Yeah. And so you can't be like that with Game of Thrones. If Game of Thrones was a normal TV show, I'd be like, Tyrion's fine. He's not going to die. Okay, but so that's why I want. That's why I want to talk he, about that. You could be dead. They could cut think, his head off tomorrow. I don't know. Okay, so next next episode, next episode is going to be strictly black. Wa- uh, not black. Wa- oh uh, yeah, the, 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 wall, the wall. The wall. Okay. Oh but no. But after that, is Tyrion going to live or not, Shane? I think what's going to happen is Jamie Lannister is going to have to choose between his sister, who he kind of loves but doesn't like him at all anymore, or his little brother, who he likes now, and they've, getting, and they've got along, and they had the conversation with the Beatle and squashing the Beatle. They've always liked each other. I know, but I think he's going to have to choose, and he, he in the past he would have chose his sister, but he's gotten really close to his brother recently, and they're either going to escape together or he's going to help him get away. Yes. Yeah. Like, I want to say, based, if it was any other show, there's no way he dies. Yeah. But if he died in the it's tenth, been the a long episode, time, like, I would not be surprised at all. Not at all. Or it's been a long time coming though, because like he's or, 
he is the Beatle. Well, that's okay. That's the other thing is that whole Beatle conversation that was everyone's reporting like that was really meta for the fact of the what's called George R. R. Martin or whatever his name is of him just like killing people for no reason really. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So he is the Beatle, and I am the snuff. Yes, but I think it's like. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it's that's gonna happen? I think Tyrion's gonna I die. I have no Who? idea. You think I Tyrion's think Tyrion's. Die? I think Tyrion's gonna die. No, I don't think so. I don't. I, I, you can't feel confident about anything with this show. Yeah, but they've I never. Mean, I'm not but, confident. But, but they've I never. A guess. They've never also. So no matter if someone lives or dies, they've never. Nothing's ever been obvious about what's actually gonna happen. So like. Okay. All I want to say is basically. First season, you went with um, what's his name? Ned Stark. Mr. Ned. Okay. That was your Same quote unquote theme. main character you related with. Okay, you followed yeah. him. They killed him off. Then you're like, oh, Rob Stark. He's the one that has the most justice behind what he's doing, right? Stannin's like full of shit because it's like, okay, sure, you're you're whatever. Like maybe you have a rightful heir to the throne. But he's Daenerys crazy. is a Daenerys is in a whole another realm. It doesn't matter, right? So Rob's the one you're really following. Jon Snow's jerking it. What the fuck the little boy with cripples doing doesn't matter. Bran's just Rob, living. Yeah, Rob is the one that you are now rooting for because he, you, you know, he wants vengeance. Okay, they kill him off. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now okay. Tyrion, Tyrion's the one you know as as the audience that he's innocent, he's a good guy, and all this stuff, which is similar to the other people that have killed in climaxes, and I think that's next. I don't know, but at the same time, I think it's too predictable for this show. Nothing is predictable. I don't think that's predictable at all. Killing, like, the one actor you have left that is really critically acclaimed? Step up. Also, all right, bring David back in here. Whatever happened, that man, the man who got the, the letter, <laughs> who's Khaleesi's friend. Yeah. What, what happened with that? Okay, so... She kicked him out! Yeah, but didn't we? But like we knew he did those things. Then we okay, also knew we knew, we knew like all along he did that. Okay, so in the beginning of Daenerys' whole entire thing, he was actually a spy for the Master of Whispers back at uh, King's Landing. Yeah. Now, he of course then saw the dragons and Daenerys' true power and said, "Fuck that shit! I'm going with this 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 hottie." You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So that that was thrown in the past, and then he rejected all contact with King's Landing from then, and was completely devout to Daenerys. Now, from source we don't know, has been revealed to Daenerys through this new guy that this has come out, but Daenerys did not know before. Well, it's, isn't it isn't it the da- the the Lannister dad who's who's doing that to make her not as strong anymore? Who's pretending the letter came from the Baratheon? I thought oh. we knew that. We as an audience knew that. Daenerys never knew that. She just uh, now realized that back way back in season no, one. No, no. I'm saying what just happened now isn't that didn't isn't didn't that letter that came from Robert Baratheon obviously didn't come from Robert Baratheon? Did, but don't we know that that came from the Lannister dad? Or no, no, but 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 I thought it was like it's true. That wasn't it is just true. Like a sh- I know it is true, but he knew too. But I think he was just fucking with them to make her not. I don't know. I don't know. You might be right. I just I don't know. I don't know either. I thought we knew that. Like maybe we don't. I don't know what the we other, know or we don't. The know. other thing is, remember when she was asking him? She was like, "Did you tell him about my baby? I was carrying carrying Drogo's baby." Mm-hmm. What What happened to the baby? I don't remember. Wasn't it like some? That's how she sacrificed to the, or something. I ju- I just don't remember. Lauren and I looked at each I, other like, "What happened to the baby?" There's a pregnant. bunch of weird shit that happened because she was pregnant, but she was then like birth. wasn't she giving birth to the thing? No, but that was something he, else gave birth to that the red haired lady gave birth to the, the it, smoke he, monster. Didn't, didn't she like sacrifice the baby to try and save Drago, but then she didn't save Drago? Yeah, 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 she, yeah. yeah she sacrificed the baby and then at the end of that episode which is so Oh uh, yeah, the witch doctor lady? Yeah. That was Stupid. Tried to like suck out its life or something. I don't remember. Yeah. I remember Anyways, that. all right. Let's bring David back. Let's bring David back. Go like. But wait, wait, wait. What's gonna happen with the guy? Do you think he's gonna go back to King's Landing, but then be I'll become a spy the other way, and then do you think? Yeah, he's and then she dies. Her? Oh no! Now I know she dies. All right. So David, 
My, that's, that's it. My other Andy, what level do you want? Shane, what level do you want? Wait, I don't know, like five or something. Andy, wait, Andy, isn't that what we think is going to happen? I don't know. All wait, I want to say saying... is I want an Aria Hound full-time TV show because that's For easily Rizzles. my favorite. I love those. That and the sexual plot. tension. Oh my god! I just I love it. It's my favorite. That was a really good comedic laugh, like actor laugh. I mean, I just that, like that watching those two together. Props. I think it's fun. Uh, Are they so, gonna reunite? Who? Who's she reuniting with? Wait, you done? Caruso told me you guys were done. We were, but Shane started shit. Are they gonna re? Are the sisters gonna reunite? I don't think so because Sansa's supposed to not be known that she's there. She's under a false name right yeah, now. Yeah, and she's all in her like evil Snow White clothes now. So I so think the, it's gonna be one so of those Game of Thrones thing. things where they pass and pass. Maybe this. So, so like every single Stark person is just gonna pass each other forever, all the time, and yeah. never see each other again. Won't he? Prob- won't he bring her to, uh, Jon Snow? Is that where they're going? Well, they were going to, to the Eerie or whatever it's called. Ross, we gotta end this. There's two episodes left. One's gonna be strictly Jon Snow. Shit and then we always have- goes down in the ninth episode, though. Nothing ever I happens. I know, but I think the eighth episode was the ninth episode this time. Uh, no, 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 no. I think shit always goes down. Shit always goes down right before the last episode because then you're always really mad, and they kind of explain it, and then the last one's really boring. Yeah, that the next episode. This Sunday is the is the ninth episode where stuff normally goes down. Yeah, stuff's gonna go down. Yeah. All right. Um, so David. Wait, are we having our are we having a Game of Thrones podcast? We can if that's what you want, Shane. You have to host it. We have, we have to wait till it ends though. Also, I meant. Okay. Okay. Good day, sure. Back.